Days after starting their ground operations in Gaza, Israeli forces are moving ahead with caution into the territory. The reason is Gaza's intricate tunnel network that has made a city a strategically complicated battleground. On the one hand, Israel's air raids have been flattening Gaza for weeks and covering nine and over 9,000 Palestinians have been killed so far. But a ground invasion has proved to be more formidable. Israeli forces executed the first ground incursion on Friday of last week. But Islamic Jihad, a smaller militant group allied with Hamas, claims Israeli forces had failed to make any sustained breakthrough apart from pushing into open areas. In earlier ground conflicts, Israel's combat engineering corps were historically tasked with destroying tunnels. But the troops were strictly told to not go more than two kilometers into the network at a time. That was back in 2014 when Gaza tunnels were limited to a few miles. Nine years on, the tunnel network has expanded to cover hundreds of tunnels running in several miles in several directions, with most of Hamas's operations concentrated underground. The Israeli forces faced grave complications in sending a high number of forces. In 2008, Israel lost nine soldiers during its ground operations, and in 2014, the number of Israeli soldiers killed rose to 66. Now, according to the latest data released by the Israeli military, at least 315 Israeli soldiers have been killed since October 7th. Yeah.